We saw in the first night of the Delaware game, they out rebounded him by 22 boards, but going to keep him off the glass. He's going to keep control the pace of the game. But to have the reinforcements of Keda and Davison back, who haven't been with them for the last two games, bring in some fresh legs and be good after those hard-fought games in Delaware. Davison is out west with Boston in Portland and Utah. Davison, rise up! Oh, a J.D. flush! And that's what you're going to see. You know, that's what they've been since December as a team that's been able to hammer you inside. Big man banks down a three there. Just one of the stars right now at the five spot in the G League. Probably one of the best five spot players right now. And he's going to be coming off the bench. Hunter Swish as well. Kata leaves it short. Bolden boxes him out. Greensboro wants to run. Hunter off the catch. That is deadly. Second year G League guard from Seattle, Washington. He's concluded his college career at Washington. The lob, the throwdown by the masked man, the Dark Knight, Kyler Kelly. Garrett got the hands in. Seven to shoot for DJ Stewart. Matched up with Bazemore. Step back three, Stewart in his face. First three for the Celtics of the night within five with under three to go in the first. Celtics back home for the first time in about three weeks. Three time all Big 12 defensive team. Miami was high on him before. Oh boy, a lollipop and Kata gets a lick at it. And they take the lead 25-24, their first of the night. Poetry in motion, JD to Kata. A sharpshooter like Snell. And then, of course, you got the big men rotation. You know, Kelly and Banks, and then you throw Kata into the mix now. It's just they, they are really deep and well positioned. Just untimely turnovers right now, but you got to see that in the possession before. Maine using an offensive rebound to get on run. Back door. This time it's Kyler Kelly finding J.D. Davison. But talking to himself. Yes, that, that happens. <laughs> we are right next to the Celtics bench. We'll take a breather. So can Coach. 39-37. Celtics by two with two minutes to go in the first half. Davison and Stewart combined 8 of 13 shooting. D.J. Stewart, third ball from deep to go down for him. Shot clock is off. Davison goes to work with four. Draws two. Stewart, three. Fourth made three of the first half for D.J. Stewart. That started, that could have arguably been an NBA Finals preview, but the Suns have sort of been on that teetering point of contention. What a block. Against Greensboro, 2 p.m. Eastern tip. And then a week from tonight against Westchester, finger roll, Jordan Walsh throws his weight at the basket. Why the Celtics liked him in the second round of the draft. Davison tied up and then ripped away by Greensboro. Black got the hands in there. Sims, he cuts loose. That's an NBA body at 34 against a 20-year-old. Garrett dumps it inside. Bolden does the rest. Timeout Blaine Miller and the Celtics. On the road trip, he shot 53% from the floor as a point guard. And these shots weren't, we've talked about it, these shots weren't close to the three-point line either all the time. The Swarm still plus four now in boards. This has got the feel for the Celtics, knowing they have two days off coming up. Kelly follows through on the JD miss off the window. Travel with them, on the bench with those guys, playing with those guys, but the key part of that is like he's on the bench with those guys. He's not getting the minutes that he's getting here in that rhythm that he's been in. We just do artwork with that's our a, words. That's an easy sell. Right? Kind of, sort of. Yeah. I mean. There's a way to start the fourth. Davison, Nikita, two-way connection. Seven foot, 250. Do they just negate that? Maine just put themselves in the bonus. Rather, the penalty. Next whistle. MJ Walker. Couple of timely threes in the first half. He's up to 20 points. Uh, I beg your pardon, that was, yes, that was Walker. The stat sheet said Hunter at first. And just like that, Maine's down by 10. Walker once again, same spot. But they've made the Celtics pay on the glass. They are now plus eight in the rebound category. Bolden caught it, barely got a piece, and Blaine Miller wants offensive interference. I think they're sensing that this is a flat night out of their team with the tough turnaround of the schedule. Bolden is fed. 
Kelly was late to get there. Slater on the drive. Greensboro another takeaway. Hunter, three, got it. And now the lead is 22 for the Swarm. And the Celtics have just four points. The offensive cohesion looks weird. The rhythm of the offense looks weird. Just the last possession. Was in control a lot of the quarters on the road trip, getting off to really good starts. And they trailed 11-2 in the third to start the third quarter. Greensboro is going to use its coach's challenge. They don't think this was a foul. Scotty hops in the rebound. Hobson barrels in, blocked by Bolden. Starters and regular rotation guys still out there for the Swarm. Garrett lays it home. Where he played for a family friend of Jarrell Christian, main second year GM. Lob ahead to Hobson, elevates. That kind of night. Indeed. MJ Walker, highlight real play defensively. Allegri for three, who just checked in. It's 28 to 6 swarm in the quarter. Wilson Frame still in search of his first main bucket. There's Banks with the float game. Greensboro improves to 14 and 15 and the Swarm have won three in a row. Just their fifth road win this regular season. Celtics now eight and seven at home. The six game winning streak is over.